Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of No Man's Sky. Alrighty, when we left off, uh, we were not necessarily in this area, but close. Um, trying to figure out where the uh, hidden sentinel ley lines is. I figured it would be a building, but so far it's uh, eluding me more or less, but there is solarium nearby, and I might collect that if nothing else. Uh, if I can't end up finding it quickly. But I'm not seeing where the building I'd be looking for is. Which is weird, because I figured it'd be easy to spot. But so far, nothing. On the bright side, it is a little cooler on the planet, so maybe... Maybe I won't need as bad of a defense from the heat. Down it go. Perfect. Alright. So I'm definitely going to need this. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm still going <laughs> to. Still going to have that issue. Oh well. It is what it is. It's apparently in this direction, which is beautiful, because it takes me in the path of these big old crystal boys. Love that. Any opportunity to get more dihydrogen and condensed carbon. Any and every opportunity I shall take. Whoop. All right. Yeah, no, I figured as much. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Alright, uh, up we go. Just get me further along. Whoop. Apparently it's this way. Oh, that's why I didn't notice it. Because it kind of blended in. There we are. The monolith we were looking for. The ley lines. The building was right here the whole time and it blended in. So, of course, I wouldn't have been able to see it from where I was at in the sky. All right, that should be good. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> that's what that is. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, let's recharge my life support. It's probably good. Um, there we go. We're good. Actually... My tech showing things, and then my cargo. Okay, the cargo makes sense because I was using up a lot of salvaged data last episode. Corvax plaque. Traveler. Mizinch. I can't understand everything else but Traveler. I don't know what to expect as I approach the structure. An army of sentinels, perhaps? Some gateway through which I'll find Artemis? But in the shifting structure of this monolith, I can feel something else. A story. A vision. It is already burning itself in my eyes. Activate it. The Traveler. Arrival. The Traveler awoke beneath the shadow of a red star. Through the lonely cosmos they fled, yearning for purpose and meaning. They found an anomaly. An aberration, a door to the heavens. No Gek, no Viking, no Corvax could see it. Only the Traveler could perceive the portal, They did, though they did not know how to step through. They did not know the secret language, the glyphs. They did not yet grasp the price of the final truth. The price of the final truth? I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient traveler. I see glyphs in my mind, part of the code I need to activate a portal. As I depart, I spot a sentinel. I spot a sentinel drone in the distance. It moves away quickly. Or doesn't? Oh uh, boy. Escape or destroy the sentinels. Uh well. <laughs> 
Okay. Well, I guess destroy it is. Oh, of course. I need to reload before I start firing. There we go. Oh, most of them are armor-plated. Of course they are. Oh, of course. Okay. I should switch to shield. There we go. That way, if they fire back, I can at least defend myself. Hey! Hey, you're not supposed to get that close. That's cheating. At least I can reload. There we go. Okay. Get all that. And now I get to my ship. Get out of here. Woo. Okay, well, I'm in trouble. If I don't get to my ship quickly, I'm in trouble. That's not my ship. Where's my ship? Oh, boy. Where did my ship go? It's over there. Great. Okay. I was heading in the direction of my frigate, because that makes sense. Boy. All right. All right. Time to keep flying away. And I, I had a feeling I was going to hurt myself falling. I was really hoping... That I didn't. <laughs> okay. Alright. Getting out of here. Getting out of here. Ow, I got hurt by one of the plants, I'm sure. That's what that was. Alright. As long as I'm away from those things. I can do this in relative peace. Oh, great. Of course. Of course. Never mind. Never mind. Get out of here. Get out of here time. Get out of here time is now. Oh, that's, that's a cute little thing. Oh, I need creature pellets. Besides, I should probably be more focused on running away. Run away. Run away time is now. Whew. Okay. Alright, so much for the collecting solarium before I got out of there. Where am I at? I'm at 40 Sentinels. Cool. Didn't realize I was that close to 40. That just taking out three of them was enough. Oh, I can't do that from space. Well, from the sky. Close enough. I did get some phosphorus, though. I noticed that. Let's put that in the exosuit. Put that in the freighter right there. There we go. I need a lot more of all of that. A lot more of all of that. Pugnium I can get rid of there. Good. Pugnium is also a good source for uh, nanites, but I tend to hold on to it a lot more than I usually should. There we go. I'll get some carbon. Perfect. Oh, this is just pure ferrite. Oh, hi there! Could you go away, please? I'd appreciate it if you did. Alright. Well, it's time to get out of here anyway. Perform a scan to find more ley lines. Tracing to source. Oh, joy! Not that far away. Not that far away at all. Cool. I'm really hoping that it just takes me to it instead of the approximate location. It is the exact location. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Alright. And it's a ruin, too. With some knowledge stones. Corvax word for organic. And required. Interesting. Imminent. 
is the only word I understood. Visitation of Cured. I have no idea what that means. As I approach the structure, I feel that same burning sensation in my eyes. There is nothing to read, and yet I am more aware of these words than anything I have ever known. Okay. Activate it. The Traveler. Sin. Sin. The Traveler found a way. They always did. The first drone screamed when it was cut open. Within the shattered memories of sentinels, the Traveler found the glyphs they needed. They passed through the gateway, emerging before the face of um, omnipotence. That's a word I don't say often. <laughs> omnipotence. I know the word, I just don't say it often. The Traveler asked the Atlas how many, word, how many worlds were left to visit. Wait, the Traveler's talking to the Atlas? They had seen so much in their life. So many in their life. They did not wish to die before they saw them all. And the Atlas answered. Eighteen. Whoa. I think that is... A number that I can't necessarily say because I don't know what comes after trillion <laughs> and that passes trillion by a lot 18 446 744 73 4 702 709, 551, 616 planets. I don't know. That is a lot of planets. That is a metric fuck ton of planets. I. That is. Wow. Wow. More than could be seen in any lifetime. It was impossible to explore the universe before the Traveler died. Wow. Witness the glyphs. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient Traveler. I see the glyphs in my mind. Another piece of the code. Another piece of the puzzle as well. I think of the Atlas. I have encountered this name many times in my travels, yet its true nature still eludes me. The vision fills me with fear. Oh, great. More of them. Oh, at least they're not going after me. That's good, at least. Please don't be doing that. In fact, I shall distract them. By shooting at this... And this... Going after all of this... Distract them by mining for other things. Far away from them. Far away from me. Alright. Break down all of this dihydrogen, because why not? Collect all of it while I'm here. Alright. Got some ferrite dust as well from the look of it. And some phosphorus. I'm okay with that. I just need to put it where... It... Oh! A storm crystal. That's a rare one. There we go. And there we go. Put that there. Hey! Ships. Cool. Alright, let's get out of here. While I still have the opportunity to. <laughs> let's get out of here. All right. There's also a building here. I want to check this out first, this unknown building, before I head over to the other one. Oh, I can't turn this down because I know what this is. 
<laughs> Plus we're going to collect these before I go ahead and do the thing. Good, go there. Not to me. There. Away from me. Stay away from me. Go there. Stay there. Good, Sentinel. Thank you, Sentinel. Alright. I know what this is, and I really want it. It's basically free. Antimatter housing. Sodium nitrate. Ah, crap, I need to make carbon nanotubes. Break these open. There we go. Carbon nanotubes. And a freebie. Exosuit. Upgrade. And I kind of want to do it in cargo. Because <laughs> that's a lot of money and a lot of stuff I can hold doing it that way. Kind of want to get this because it's an unknown sector. Uh, sorry, Reggie. <laughs> Gonna need to block that one for me, please. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Reggie. You the best. Let me get out of here. And now we head over to... The Ley Lines thing. The thingamajig. Thingamabob. Who's he, what's it? I'm now using all the phrases my mother uses whenever it's a thing that she doesn't know how to technically describe. <sighs> it's the fate of an old person to use those phrases. <laughs> I guess. The whoozy what's it? Thingamabob. Ooh. That's an impressive structure. And I was about to say several knowledge stones from the look of it, too. What we got here? Won't let me... Okay, there we go. Corvax word for warning. Should I take that as a warning? Cannot. Cannot not take that as a warning? I don't know. I'm making things up as I go. Whee. And we take this one. Oh, come on. I have to be on the same level as it. Really? Disconnection. Considering how the Corvax are, that sounds terrifying. Disconnection. Cannot. Warning. Cannot disconnect. Ooh. It's a warning. Ooh. Ooh. Given how the Corvax operate. Ooh. <laughs> that's. That's. Uh, that's a thing. I literally understood none of that. Okay. Everything here is tinted with that same red, the same unobservable crimson that fills my vision when I blink. I can only hope this structure holds the final glyphs, that my trial at these ruins is nearly over. The Traveler, a purpose. The Atlas told the Traveler they were the first of their kind, that a multitude would follow. Each would be endowed with the same noble soul, each able to travel from planet to planet in eternal solitude. The first traveler rejected the gift of at the Atlas. This was not what they hoped for. What was the purpose of infinity if you could not see it all? If you were alone, if you would one day die? The first traveler cursed the Atlas and claimed that they would find a way to survive no matter the cost. no matter the cost. All of these worlds, all of time itself, it will be for the travelers to witness. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient traveler. I see the final glyphs in my mind, the final portion of the code. Locate and activate a portal.
guess I should probably scan that when I'm on my ship. There would be a more worldwide scan. Okay. Scanner recharging. Of course it is. Oh. Oh, well. Did, did you recharge faster, please? There we go. Tracing to source. Is this what I was just at? Is the one? No, it's a whole different one. It's a different thing entirely. It's another sector thing. I'll go with that. Don't need it that badly. Oh, jeez. We're arriving two hours. We don't have that kind of time. Let's do this from space, shall we? Breach the atmosphere. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that scared the bejesus out of me. Sitting there going, <laughs> thinking that something was shooting at me. Ooh. All right. It's on the other side of the planet entirely. But here we are. Arriving at it, slowly but surely. Clouds to the ley line source. Whoa. Well, oh, hi there. Alrighty. Here we are. Well, this definitely looks like a portal. No denying that. Uh, okay. Ruins of Uantia. Portal. Traveler anomaly confirmed. Breach. 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 I approach the portal. I think of every passing thought and idle wish that led me to this moment. Within this gateway, I might find Artemis. I might find the source of the Sentinels. I might find a whole new universe. But it is more than this. This is not fate. I am making a choice. A leap of faith that somewhere out there in the dark, I will find who I am meant to be. Input the glyphs. I step forward, not knowing what I will find on the other side. But I feel it deep in my heart. The call towards a deeper truth. This will be the start of everything. Nothing. Anonymous, anomalous signal detected. What in the hell? 
16, 16, 16. Atlas protocol initiated. 16, 16, 16. What the what 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 the Ah uh, Where am I? I uh but but the Atlas word for traveler. Well, okay, I've learned a hundred words, but where the fuck am I right now? Okay, this is apparently a thing that would teach me words of the atlas, maybe? Or not? That couldn't have been a fluke, could it? Maybe I have to be closer to it when it goes off. No. What the hell is it for, then? Where am I? The. Okay, so I was correct. They do teach me words. Just select ones do. Okay. I'm not talking to that thing for a little bit. Not yet. Not until I figure out what the hell is going on. Oh, so this doesn't count as a space station, I guess, because my life support systems are draining. Okay. There we go. Just do that. Well, I've... I think cleared out everything that's nearby. What are these things? Warp cells? These gifts? Rekij Idae abstraction. The text blinks before me. It awaits input. Who is this? What is this? Hello, world. An audio recording plays, echoing out across the vast interface. We were once travelers. We once aspired to more than dirt and dust. The audio clicks. Time passes. Show me a world, Atlas. Show me something no one has ever seen before. The voice ends. The interface grows still and silent. It awaits a command. Perform diagnostic or wipe system. Perform a diagnostic. Okay, there, there's there got to be a screw up there somewhere, because that doesn't count. Right? 19462189212221 years since last diagnostic. 64% of worlds operating within expected parameters. Sorry. Of worlds operating within expected parameters? Two million six hundred and eleven thousand three hundred and eighty four actionable observations awaiting analysis. Subroutine sentinel. Status error null value. Subroutine glass. Status operational. 
4,182 breach attempts. Subroutine Traveler. Status Operational. 458 critical error warnings. Exo mine structure integrity compromised. Immediate repairs required. Travelers are a subroutine? Initiate personality interface? Yes. Traveler. Reality fades. Everything does. My body. My voice. My soul. All of it speaks to me. The atlas stands before me in all its might. I want to ask about Artemis. I want to find them, but something is happening to me. I need to get out of here. I need to... Submit. I try to submit, but it is too late for that. Far too late. I have belonged to this creature my entire life. Mostly calm, unwavering, ample, and ample. Vilubi. This planet looks like it'd be cold. I've ended up on a completely different planet? completely different creatures entirely. Completely different minerals. Where am I? Well, I know the place is called Volubi. I don't need to know that. I need to know where in the galaxy am I? Where did I go? How long was I gone? Well, apparently I can get star bulbs here. That's something. Okay. Cobalt. Okay. Haven't scanned this plant yet. Star bulbs from them too. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll break them open. It's not an issue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get my toxins detected. I dealt with all of it. Okay. They weren't kidding when they said verdant. I didn't expect... anything like this. Okay, so this entire world is basically brand new. Corvax word for hello. Well, hello, new world. Well, okay. Sorry! Didn't mean to scare you. Collecting things now that I know that I'm not in a different universe, everything is basically the same. new 
hazardous flora, some new minerals. Some new plants. New animals. Paraffinium. Huh. So basically everything. Everything is different. But it's not more different than it usually would be. Ooh. Get that while I have a chance. Oh. Oh. Well, uh, crap. I should definitely get to my ship then. Because I won't be able to survive this otherwise. Or I could get underneath a tunnel or something. Okay, ow. Well, that didn't end up as badly as I thought it would. Some condensed carbon in the distance. Got that, at least. The what? What the what? These bugs? Oh, great. Well, I'm in the middle of the storm now. It'll wipe me out real quick unless I find shelter. Alright. Alright. Where's my ship at? Oh, it's a ways away. Oh, boy. I'll scan all of this later. And I'm safe from this... Crap. Definitely gonna keep doing this. So why not? Already right here. If I recall correctly, a jetpack works better in superheated storms. There's my ship. Alright. And I'm next to one of these things. Okay. Alright. I escaped to my ship glad of something familiar in this strange world. Where has the portal taken me? I was caught in the gravity of that infernal machine, not strong enough to resist. It identified itself as Atlas, the entity so many worship and fear. I saw no sign of Artemis, no trace of the Sentinels. Why did I even step through that gateway? Why did I follow this path? Because I can. I tell myself that I do all of this because I can. That I do not really care about Artemis or about Sentinels. Perhaps this is true. Perhaps I need no higher purpose. As I stare at the console, an opportunity presents itself once more. There is an inbound transmission merging from a location on this very planet. You are not alone. The signal appears to be coming from this very system, using the same words that led me to Artemis so long ago. Well, that's good. Could it be them? Did Artemis meet the Atlas as I have? Starship is... How did my starship get damaged? <sighs> of course. Of oh, freaking course. Well, I can't necessarily do anything else with it. So I might as well put all of this there. Fix this with ferrite and that. Okay. For some reason the thruster got damaged. The uh, launch thruster got damaged. I don't know why. Don't know how. But it happened. Alright. 
Okay, I'm gonna end the episode a little early. Because... My brain is trying to absorb literally everything that just happened. That red ball looked, A, exactly like what I'm seeing out of that pod there in front of me. But that pod also looks like something I saw on the first planet I was on before I got this ship. It's all connected. Are there just immovable points in time and space that I'm just having to deal with? And the big atlas thing, it made everything sound like a simulation. Worlds operating within parameters. Travelers being a subroutine. Sentinels and glass being subroutines. I, I got to take some time to really think about this. I have no idea what's going on. So, okay. I'm going to end the episode here for right now. And think on that. Think on all of that, because... Whoa. Okay. Uh... Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to make sense of what this game is about. Because, quite frankly, now I have no idea. And, uh, in the meantime... Uh get back to it, I guess. We'll have to follow the source of the distress signal and figure out what all of that's about. Uh, but we will do that next episode. For you!